right, here we are at one of the most exciting matches that we everybody's been waiting for. James Payne in his Universal Dragon Championship um, match where he has to try and keep his championship. We saw that he lost his tag belt. Yeah, we did. We just, you know, that was that a was horrible thing to see earlier tonight when we seen that. And, you know, I just don't want to think about it. Uh, James yeah, Payne. what? It, all we can say is, how shitty is that? How shitty now was that? But look, and now, yeah, after that grueling match, after, you know, wow, and it, not against one, but two people here, you know what I mean? So he had to face two people with the help of Neverman McNever Mahone, and then now he's got to go up against two individuals here tonight that we've been seeing go at it like these guys have been going at it like nobody. Burt Hurt and DJ Sports Dog. What do you think it's all been for? They had to earn their moment, their shot. This is what it's been building up towards. A Universal Dragon triple threat match between family. Look, this is Burt Hurt, the father of James Payne, and DJ Sports Dog, the cousin. What are we going to do? This is going to be fucking nuts, man. You're going to see things that... Yeah, look. They, 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 in the ring, it's, it's all about the competition. Look, they're not going to worry about what family is or what that is. They're just going to go out of here tonight because one thing is important here tonight. That's that Universal Dragon Championship. That's right. And that's what these guys are here to do. And they're going to do it inside of a steel cage. One of these guys, you can win by pinfall or you can climb over the, the side. Or actually, I don't think you can win by pinfall. You have to climb over the side, I'm pretty sure, and I was wrong when I first said what I was saying. But now, like I said, here's DJ Sports Dog. This guy, if you look, they're half ghost in the ring right now. Well, no, they're not. I just have really bad eyes. Here's um, DJ. DJ Sports Dog. This guy, look, what him and Bert hurt. The rivalry between these guys what is the hottest thing, was the hottest thing. I mean, that was the Burt Hurt and DJ Sports Dog era, the era of that. It was the hottest thing anybody's ever seen. And, and now, and look, look, DJ Sports right Dog's tonight. first ever championship opportunity. I mean, he's been Ladder Dragon champion. And look, he's looking here tonight, he's saying, look, he's looking to get another championship. Right. He's ready. He's trained. He was back in um, 3D Field, which used to be a Wani Field, training with the four Labradors. Yeah. And he was out there, and, he, you know, he makes sure he drinks plenty of water. He, you know, you have to know how to. He knows about H2O. He, he is knows definitely right now, the guy that knows how to. One thing DJ Sports Dog wanted to say is make sure you guys are all drinking plenty of water because it's very important to hydrate yourself. Hydrate yourselves. Stay active. Yeah, and get active and do shit. Look, here's DJ Sports Dog's thing. He goes nonstop. He will get down and make sure that that floor is shiny. He will look for like every little speck of dirt. If there's a speckle of dirt, he will get a magnifying glass out on that shit. And he'll and look he at it, and, he and hey, you better right not here. open the Cheetos. If you have, if you're in his house and you has Cheetos up there on the fridge, you better not take those Cheetos down. You better ask to open them chips. You know what he does? He lets all the farts out before he comes out. Yeah, he's a smart guy. You know, he knows to um, fart in, in the backstage. He farts right there, and you know he was hoping. What he hopes is that he's the first one that comes out and then he farts in that little space where the other guy's got to come in. So when they get in there right before they come out, they smell his fart and they feel like his shit's in their nose. And it's crazy. And DJ Sports Dog likes to do that. But he was it's the like last mind one. Games in yeah. Place. It's the mind games to get things going so he can really, you know, he's working the, those people. Like if they smell shit right before they come out, they're not going to feel 100% anymore. They're going to kind of feel sick. And that's Burt Hurt. Oh, shit. Well, all right.
Here it is, and uh, these guys are going at it. And this is three guys, so it's kind of wonky. But we're going to go uh, and find out who here is. I got the wherewith. Oh, and James Payne says, look, you guys try and set me up. Well, I'll drop both you guys on your fucking heads. There it is. He brought yep. the pain. And he drops that knee to his back. And DJ Sports Dog says, yeah. Yeah, because you know what? They've been going at it for a while. So it only makes sense that he says, yeah, I'll team up with you. I'll fight Burt Hurt with you. You think, you know. I mean, Kurt Hurt's the biggest, so you got you know, yeah. Oh, shit, and they, they do mm -hmm. stuff to his neck. And, uh oh, he punches him. Look, they're beating the shit out of Bert Hurt right now. And look, not so much. that's your father. Oh. oh, and he says, look, I'll give you a taste of your own damn medicine. And then he takes him by the arm and he says, look, all right, Dad, we'll, we'll get this going together. This is a father-son uh, flipper-dipper. And he fucking picks him up and he drop-kicked to nowhere. Um, we, you know, th these guys are famous for these these things yeah, to nowhere. Wow, a double neck breaker. They drop it. Father, son, double neck breaker. And we got uh, James Payne locking him up in a headlock, and he's not sure quite one. sure what he wants to do Her with him. And then we get another father, son, double neck breaker. Oh, and he kicks him in the kidneys. Uh oh, and he drops a fist. And uh, James Payne says, I'm going to try to get out of here. But, uh, yeah, Bernard Hurt says, you're not kicked out of here yet. He says, we're not done with you. And they keep on using this thing like it's going out of style or something. Uh, you know, they keep on using that double neck breaker and a roundhouse kick to the gut. And they, they're picking on James Payne because oh, that's one? the guy. You know, if I was one of these guys, James Payne's actually the guy that I would go after. Because James Payne's got a really good, he's a decorated UDW. And, I mean, he's a multiple Universal Dragon champion. He's so been in almost every single... Uh-oh, and James Payne says, I'm just going to do this and jump Kurt off Kurt these ropes. And now oh, he, he says, look. He was getting more energy. Yeah, he says, look, I'm going to get pumped up. And then he's like, I got time. He's not afraid. And he says, I'm James Payne. I can do that. If, oh, and he barrel rolls in like, hey, you guys aren't paying attention to me. And then he gets him in a headlock, but DJ Sports Dog breaks it up with a kick to the shoulder to Burt Hurt. And uh, James Payne's kind of woozy right now. He doesn't know wh quite what to do. And uh, like I said, I mean, there's a lot of teaming up going on here. But if you would, you know, is that the only move that uh, they're going to do here? Uh oh, James Payne's pissed and he's fired up. He's dropping. Uh oh, they're going to do. Oh wow, that's exciting. Oh, I haven't oh seen that God. move at like 20 times tonight. So, um, if I think I were they these need... guys, I'd be climbing that cage. They, uh oh, DJ Sports Dog's drunk. It looks like he must have smelled a oh, fart he or something. Out of it. Uh, shit. Uh oh, look, he snaps out of it, but uh, uh oh, Burt Hurt knocks him in the face with a couple elbows, and then he drops him into a suplex, drops him on his back, picks him back up, and kidney kick to the back. Oh, wow. He's gonna be pissing blood in the morning. Oh no, it's so he DJ Sports Talk punches Burt in his kidney. He says, You hurt my kidney, I'll hit your kidney. James Payne says, I wanna play. And then he comes in and he starts dropping elbows, but DJ Sports Talk says, No, you can't play, and he punches him in the face. And he says, Watch out. Uh oh, and he tries to pin him. I guess you can pin in this match. Or explains why. Yeah. They I'm not quite sure what the rules are right now. Um, Burt Hurt didn't wasn't successful in uh, the attempt to break that the submission up the first time, but the second time he managed to. And then James Payne up halfway up the steel. Yeah, James Payne. You know, it's too early on. You didn't get anybody down. DJ Sports Dog says, "Quit being a jerk." He says, "Look." I'm going to launch you into, into the, steel the steel cage, cage. and then he picks him up again. He says, I'm not done yet. I'll give you one more good one. And oh, oh, oh and he drops him on his back. Come on, man. That's your family. Oh, and he breaks it up. And it must have hurt his elbow. He must have hit hit his uh, rough spot right there when he, when he did that elbow drop thing. Uh-oh, oh. DJ Sports Dog. Uh-oh. He breaks it up real quick. He says, come on, get up. Uh-oh. And Burt Hurt wastes little time. I wonder if, well, who's got the wherewithal to come out of this match right here and be champion here tonight. I don't know. I hope, you know, I hope we see. Oh, wow. 
That right there was something. Oh, but then Payne. And look, James Payne, he's trying to get out of there. He really wants to, you know, he's keep his champion. He doesn't want to lose so both of them here tonight. He doesn't want to lose both championships. Players. You know how hard it is to get back on top when you've hit bottom? James yeah. Payne knows. He, but he did make his way back up, so he does know how to do it. But I'm just really curious to see who's gonna know the dynamics. Who's got the the? Well, so far, I think James Payne is the only one with his eye on the prize. Yeah. He's not, he's not still Payne. Yep, that's true. And um, there's no water in the pool there for the elbow to nowhere. Oh. DJ Sports Dog. Uh oh. Oh, oh shit! Bert Hur walks out. Your Universal Dragon Champion, and that is an upset for DJ Sports Dog and James Payne. James Payne lost two championships in one night. I can't believe it. Oh my goodness. I'm speechless. Oh my goodness. And we've seen such upsets here tonight. We've seen the cha the, the championships go into hands we don't really want them to be. But if you're fans of Mother Hen and you're fans of um the half ghost. And, and you think good for you. You're a happy person here tonight. And you know, really, this match, I don't think this is the last. I don't think this is the last we've seen of these UDW. Definitely not. I don't think that this is over. This really only seems like a beginning. Well, there it is. There it is. First ever. Universal Dragon Championship match. He won it. He did. He worked really hard. He fought DJ Sports Dog for months. And look, this is what it gets you. If you try hard, this is what it'll get you, Jabber, ever quick, Louie White. Yep. Yeah. UD motherfucking W! Woo! Yeah, and that wasn't the first time I farted like that before. Oh, well, here we are at, um, um, uh, here we are at uh, this is our main event here, and we got El Don, the Ladder Dragon Champion, coming out to defend his um, championship here tonight, and see if maybe he can um, keep, you know, his shit. Because if he could keep it, that'll make him go down in history as one of the um, champ, one of the Ladder Dragon Champions that were able to keep it for multiple weeks in a row. Not a lot of them have been able to do that, Jabber Ever Quick or, or Louie White. They haven't been able to do that. And that's who I have here with me tonight, um, is Jabber Ever Quick to my left and Louie White to my right. And how um, interesting is that? Ironic, right? That it seems to rhyme. Oh, you guys, we haven't seen the alien come here since probably the very, like, yeah. You know, he was one of the uh, classics. He's a legend. He was here in the beginning, if you remember that, Jabber, real quick. I remember seeing him. Yep. And, you know, he hasn't really done a lot here. It's kind of like, but, you know, he's... Uh, Long gone, but not forgotten. Yes, exactly. He's a dimensional figure. He goes from here to there. And, you know, he doesn't have a lot of time to be in, you know, UDW. But he loves to, to wrestle. He just loves it. I also remember, I also remember when Jack Snow used to try and team up with him. Oh, I remember that. Back in the very beginning, Jack Snow did try to form a team with the alien, but the alien is an alien. He, he's um, way more intelligent, and he didn't want to waste his time with somebody like the alien, or like Jack Snow. Oh, God, this guy. You know, if you know something, if you go to um, YouTube and you look through uh, the playlist Fart Tunes, you'll find um, a couple cartoons called Holy Milk and then Holy Water. And if you watch these two films, you'll know a lot about this guy. You'll know this guy is he's a dumb guy. He's dumb. It's not necessarily his fault, but he's, you know, I mean, the part about him being a really bad person, that's his fault. But the being stupid, that's not his fault, but he's still stupid, and he's done some really messed up stuff. Yeah, but you're really going to have to check out that um, those two cartoons, Holy Milk and Holy Water, on Darth Elden's page on YouTube to, to really figure out what the backstory, and oh, speaking of Holy Water and Holy Milk, here comes the main star. This guy right here is Goodfather. This guy is on a journey to find the truth, the way, and the light. 
And, you know, he's going to do everything he can. And every time, every corner he takes, he just finds all these false messiahs. All these people who claim to be these, these um, entities and, and, and um, enlightened individuals. And, I mean, you got Dookie Master, who smokes his own poo. I mean, yeah, you got Noah Noah, who cuts off people's asses, you know. That's crazy, right, Jabber Ever Quick? That's yeah, it. Here it is. Yeah, and here we go. We got this thing going, and look, right away, Bad Father and Good Father were going at it, but they were broken up by um, the tag team um, of El Don and the Alien working pretty well together, knowing that they need to go after that guy because that guy. Oh! Throws in the ladder. Good Father throws in the ladder, and it kind of lightly taps the guys on the inside, if you caught that. And um, Good Father says, look, I've, I've been a champion here before. And if you don't remember, Good Father has been a Ladder Dragon champion. I think all these men know what they're doing. They all do know they're what they're doing alien. in the ring. But the Alien and Bad Father have yet to win a championship oh, at all. It's a and, pretty fair matchup. It, yes, alien. yes. And you know, Bad Father and Good Father, they haven't been here in a long time. We haven't seen them in a while. So, I mean... We'll see if we see them, you know, really make a stand for, you know, their, their, um, Morale. time away, you know, see if they got the ring rust, if they could shake off that ring rust. Yeah, and, are they going to have what it, it takes? Yeah, you know, will they have the wherewithal to get through this kind of match here and then, and then the dynamics? I mean, they, they're, they're in there like, what do I got to do? Yeah, they're. So, to get up there. And yeah, that. because the Ladder Dragon Championship, the Universal Dragon Wrestling Ladder Dragon Championship is held high, hung high yeah, above the ring right Don's now. And El Don says, oh, look, this is mine, and I'm looking to he have... thrown down. I'm looking to keep this championship. By one of the fathers. Oh. I can't really tell what... What the fuck was that? Well, here we are. We're uh, experiencing some technical difficulties, and um, but we're back for you now, and... Uh, yeah, and here we got this action starting right back up, and we're right back in there. We're getting excited. This is UDW, Good motherfuckers. Good Father's doing something, Jabber real quick, telling you. And um, Eldon turns around and says, fuck you, ladder. And he's like, I'm going to kick you, you know, but... He's kicking and it's like, yeah. his head just went into him yeah. in there. You know, he shouldn't have wasted the time turning around to kick the ladder, and he wouldn't have got his, you know, ass kicked by... Two one dudes, of the, two fathers yeah, of the faith. The fathers. You know? These they guys really Oh look, but then they're working together on the other father. Which they're giving father the work they're working him up. up. They're giving it's him like a the, work. It's like karma uh, and dharma, you can't really tell. Yeah, you don't know which one. Well, if you look, you know that um good father is all the way bald. Yeah, but but, this but angle, bad kind of father to, oh, I see. but bad father is partially bald. You got a full bald man and a partially bald man. Oh, so good father end. is more like the Buddha, is in his full bald. Good father is looking for the truth, the way, and the light. Like he wants to know. He, you know, he believes. Uh oh, we've seen this before. We've seen good ladder. father at the top of this ladder before. We've seen him pull down that ladder dragon oh, championship. Oh, and that, how do but, you uh, get from that? That was a lot. Look, they uh, somebody uh, brought in a sledgehammer to knock the shit out of somebody. And uh, up there, yeah, like, you see that ladder was just standing up there. Yeah, the the, the, the these ladders are magic, and, and that's why UDW here at UDW we right love ladders. Oh. Shit. Oh, and the aliens, aliens just, just hanging, hanging from the, from the, the title. awesome ladder dragon championship. Ooh, like and uh, like El Don oh, can't oh, reach okay. him and he jumps Dude, and he oh, oh, he falls. oh alien falls, falls off the top of the fucking ladder. Like and El Don right. says, Look, I did that. Like he, Ooh, he's wow, pretending like he of, did that. Some kind of power. Man, yeah, he says, I did that with well. El Don You guys, El Don does have Oh, look and he gets hit in the ass right with a fucking slide Hammer to the God. asshole. The wow. Oh my God. I know. Good father my says, look, watch out. Yeah. I am. Don't. I don't know I'm where it's going. My, I Liam know. Neeson. My breath is taken. You You're this? right. Wow. Mm. I didn't see who brought the sledgehammer. I didn't see who brought the sledgehammer in either. I think it was just magically appeared there, and I didn't really see who no. did that. Maybe Eldon it happened, you know, we got Eldon laying with a sledgehammer breathing. floating on top of his body. And then Good Father and we got goes for the Good belt. Father getting the belt, and I think he, he just won for the... 
This might be the wow. We got champion. oh man, a bad father's knocked the fuck out on the ground. Well, look in, in, in these replays, you'll see this is the moment they did that. Oh, and then, there it is. oh, the alien picked up the sledgehammer. Oh, this is when they did that. Father tried to oh yeah, himself. I remember seeing when they did that. And I was like, man. Got the oh, right oh, here God. when he did that, I was like, dang, man. Oh, that was the part where they laid with the the sledgehammer floating on top of his body, right there. I remember that part. Yeah, this is the moment Good Father decided to really to win. Yeah, he decided he was like, I'm gonna win. It's time to win. And look, he didn't waste any time getting the Ladder Dragon Championship down off that uh, hook. He wasted no time unhooking that. He was like, I see you hooked up there. Yeah, he's a good unhooker. He's an unhooker. He's not a hooker. He's saying you're going to see a lot more of me. Yep. The champion. Good father. Farts and turds. It's whistling.